If my apartment's smelly, my plants are ready Always thinking of cheese like the star for delis Not talking raps, but my bars are heavy Made more profit off of drugs than Martin Shkreli If you want some weed, I'll be in the spot like Oxycream Seen more bars than a slot machine Behind the scenes, off the screen No special effects, but there's a lot of scenes Shot in green, I got the ring I'm disrespectful! I'm the type of nigga when you sneeze, I say fuck you and stop <laughs> Day. We are back here in Birmingham for the first time in the last five, yes, five years. It's battle number one of the day, North vs South, volume number three. Hair and Hounds, make some fucking noise. Let's go. Yes. Alright, shouts to the crowd, man. It's been a uh, couple cancellations. Everyone's feeling a bit shit. We're about to get the uh, mood changed. Everyone's going to be on the up from this moment onwards. I cannot wait. I'm introducing Team North as my fucking big bro Briggs. He's unfortunately in hospital. Get well soon, my brother. MC on my right hand side representing Team North from Liverpool, my man Jay Dillon. Make some noise. And on my left hand side representing Team South, please make some noise for Mr. Tongue Twister. Woo! Cool, alright, round number one of the event on my man Jay Dillon. Let's go. Hey, Mr. Tongue twister, been gone some time, none mister. Hold your tongue twister, we're having fun twister. It's your comeback special. You went away weird and you've come back special. <laughs> you get a medal, you bumped into Danny Jack in London a month back and want to chat about your comeback. He said, fuck that. <laughs> he tried to walk away, you beg come back. Some fun facts, he works in customer services. Tongue twister here, but there he's Chris. Through the week he's working Chris. Weekend Larry Chris, Monday morning sharing Chris. He'll tell you what he did, tell you how many shots he did and how many sluts he copped off with. As a boss, he's the best in the company. He gets the job done and he's good company. <laughs> I get comfy with a beer and a powerful joint. You kick back with a laptop and make PowerPoints. <laughs> when it turns sour, boy, it turns sour at the insurance firm. He grabbed the secretary's tits to ensure they're firm. <laughs> At the tribunal, he blamed her short skirts. <laughs> when, he, when he talks work, he's a bit of a twat. He says things like, will do, ASAP. <laughs> you agreed with your boss when he said he hates rap, and he did a wiki wiki and it made you laugh. <laughs> Face facts. The colleagues say Chris is a wanker, the assistant to the manager, who thinks he's dapper, dropping hints he's a rapper and moving drugs, suit and slugs, but at work it's who wants a group hug? <laughs> the group shrugs, who used my mug? It's communal love. Hey, the dude, the dude loves the office banter, he's got it sewn up, saying, own up, who brought the donuts? <laughs> I don't. Then he phones up the skep from Human Resources, the one who sniffs cat like humans was horses. <laughs> Morning, trying to flirt at the water cooler, saying, Keep your caffeine, girls, water's cooler. <laughs> Chris, you're a loser. <laughs> but you think you're bad and heavy going Frankie and Benny's with the HR bitches, Angie and Jenny. <laughs> and then he talks footy with Andy and Terry. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you look like Peter Crouch, if Peter crouched. <laughs> that, that's exactly how he would sound. Leave it out, there's something we need to speak about. Each verse, you'll hear at least one bad bar come out of this geezer's mouth. That's how I know you're a faggot, because he doesn't reach around. Hey! <laughs> and according to Briggsy, you're Mr. Originality. Uh, no, he isn't actually, because you said. <laughs> Because you said, pedrophile, that's been said. Euthanasia, euthanasia, that's been said. Selfridges, selfridges, that's been said. You even said, your delivery's like a fortnight, it's too weak. Dickhead! <laughs> See, I can sum you up. You are Harry Baker minus the calculator. You are Mark Griss that he didn't teach classes and wasn't an educator. You are Adam the Rapper if he wasn't rapping. You are 
Most prob if he didn't compose songs and just wrote blogs. You are Tony D if he didn't do poetry or wasn't a decent writer. You are Shonda Rhimes if she was shiter and even whiter. <laughs> with Pedro and in my opinion you lost it right but some said you won and I was surprised because I thought you were proper shy because you shut your eyes when dropping rhymes <laughs> the irony you battled Pedro and robbed him blind <laughs> <laughs> see during his rounds he always has closed lids when his bloke spits I could go to the bar get some cold drinks go outside smoke spliffs go to the toilet go for a slow piss come back he'd still be rapping and won't even notice <laughs> see Dylan said him winning is something he can't doubt. I could beat him with my eyes closed. You're taking it too far. <laughs> See me? I talk to the crowd, look at them, and keep the people out. Then I look you dead in your eyes and have you peeing in your pants. You always have your eyes shut, so you're decreasing in the ranks. Because if you close the window to your soul, we can't see you as the champ. Time. <laughs> Talked about my eyes. Thanks, mate. I've got glaucoma, and that's bad taste. <laughs> he complained about the double meanings, the homonyms, okay. but that just lets me see the homonym. Okay. I said, I don't care what, I don't care what channel you cruise on. You're a bunch of dry squares, croutons. <laughs> I said, move on, Gonzo. You might have had a buzz, but it's gone, though. You need to filter your shit. You need a bong, bro. You think he's weak, you're wrong, though. He's always strapped with the long nose. <laughs> but I'll John Doe this person, catch a body for certain. We could talk about your diss track. Nobody's heard it. My verses have the right feel. My rhymes make the highlight real. You're a vampire with the twilight feel. Your name is Chris, or it might be Neil. <laughs> You might feel the twist is the worst. I said I wouldn't battle him, they twisted my words. I said it hurts to say twister. No one vote for you, Theresa May twister. It's not your day twister. I've got rounds on deck, I don't play twister. I said my brain works quicker with the wisdom of Yoda. I've got more jokes than Homer's sofa. I've not got coke, but I've got cola. Your mum's tattoo's the logo for Gola. <laughs> Twister's a snake who ordered a cobra. Twister's boring who ordered a coma. I said I'm prone to insomnia. I can't stop the noise. I got annoyed. I got some kush from the drop-off boys. I put your battle on and I dropped off, boy. He got paranoid from conspiracies, the mysteries, Illuminati, the military, the imagery. Who's really writing for Little T? <laughs> you, f you feel Little T? He said, listen to me. To distract from the aliens, the government gave me AIDS again. <laughs> It's not your day, my friend. Let's get personal. Your girl's in charge, Angela Merkel. Stay in your shell. You're not a hero, turtle. You can't come back. You're not kid verbal. Your life's going in circles. You're a twister. No, you're a gerbil. I said it's hurtful. His social life's not a good one. I found him outside trying to sell his plus one. <laughs> He puts on a brave face. He puts on a brave face, but in reality it's Dear Diary, I'm so lonely. Why does no one phone me? I thought I had homies, Brian, Mike and Tony. <laughs> you know me, I've been training for this one, dribbling round cones. You've been just getting stoned, dribbling round cones. <laughs> he's alone. Of all the rappers in here, he's the wackest in here. The battle's risk assessment has come back clear. <laughs> it is clear that he's salty, because he's not improving. While I say line, I drop solutions. <laughs> he said my nose is big. Ooh, that is just peak. But it's an obvious angle, so this dude's rapping is weak. And talking of obvious angles, I should headbutt you for that shit that you actually speak, but I'd be worried that my giant nose would get stuck in that huge gap in your teeth. <laughs> even if we weren't in a town in Birmingham now. You would get beaten even if we weren't in Hersham or weren't in the south. Even in the north, you'd still get burnt to the ground in the middle of Liverpool. You'd still get served in your house. This will be Jay Dillon versus Wade Wilson when I murdered his scouts because I'm a dead pool when I'm a merc with a mouth now. Yes. 
Now, it feels like I've been buying you drinks all night and I'm soz it ain't free. But that last round was mine and the cost was crazy. It's a pub crawl. Vodka, Baileys, Fosters maybe. Nah, I've just been going in bar after bar taking shots at JD. Now you've got to pay me. Hold yes. on. Hold on, stop and wait, freeze. Now concentrate, please. I said I'm taking shots at JD like that Dr. Dre beef. Mm. So is it J Dillon or JD? Well, I guess that's close enough. I've got JD bars like Weatherspoons. Yeah, you know the pubs. I'll put JD on the floor like I'm mourning the death of my closest thugs from a heavy dose of drugs. I've got more JD put downs than an episode of Scrubs. Yeah. Or, or the in-betweeners. Cause there's plenty of bullshit that this fool's bound to say and if anything bad happens it's all down to Jay. Hey, I just called out your name and it all sounds okay but if this is the in-between us, I'm Simon cause I got balls out on stage. <laughs> if you were to say, you plagiarist, it's cause your right hand cheated on your left hand, you plagiarist. <laughs> See every page of his is played with this, take your pick, takes the piss, basic shit, makes me sick, makes me wanna go into a rage and switch, a major swing, but even if JD blocks, there's no way I'll miss that face of his, they'll ask why he's in for a rough ride when I aim my fist for Jay to kiss. Yes. And they're like, yeah, yeah, they're like, preach, preach, those who can, do, those who can't, Reach. <laughs> hey. Hey. You talk about the in-betweeners thinking you're deep, bro. That's just a weak version of the peep show. <laughs> and I'm a northern star, I was born for the part. Never bore the bars, I'm Paul McGraw. You're getting torn apart by the rhyming. Here's where the north and south is divided. You pay a thousand pounds for the round of ciders. You don't welcome outsiders, and you made blogs about house prices. <laughs> but no doubt you like it, you said that it's awesome. You can say I'm not northern. I've never been to Hersham, but I know that it's boring. <laughs> here's a warning, here's where you lose to the north again. You need a uniform for the war for your men. And the captain's Danny Jack, and he's in charge for men. <laughs> hey. You've been talking again about your new life. You just moved to London, that's cool guy. You got the free buses, the Uber, Boris's new bike, so I don't wanna hear about the tube strikes. Too right, north and south, who'd have thunk it? Ask the judges the outcome, they point to the north like a compass. <laughs> when it comes to stationary, I find angles with the protractors. You're from the sticks and you're protractors. <laughs> you're a hopeless rapper, nobody's feeling you. You're a hopeless rapper, nobody's feeling you. I only came to Brom to meet Jamelia. <laughs> I said I'm washing you, I'm bitty McLeaning you. Shout out the devil man, I'll burst your bubble, I'm on a spirit level man. Oh. He's in heaven and he's living the dream in Hersham, working hard, give, earning money, giving her some. He can't have kids so he's looking after her son. Sometimes he wants to hurt him. <laughs> I said he's an outdoors person. As a boy he was a boy scout and boy it was good. No booze or drugs or footy or pubs. No getting high watching boys in the hood. He was getting weird with some boys in the woods. <laughs> I said, I'm destroying this cunt employee of the month. You're in the hot spot. I jump over squares of hopscotch. My style's a mishmash of hopscotch. Hop spot. Up north it's all ketamine and hot pop. <laughs> you lost the don't flops, number one Scott. You lost the don't flops, number one Scott. Evil and you stop drop. <laughs> He, he said he'd be evil, but tongue lied. Tongue tried, but at best, tongue tied. <laughs> but he lives the good life. He's never been sporty, but his car was. Highlight of the week was the car wash. <laughs> You're not Vibes Cartel with the Clarkson. You're getting hard watching Top Gear for Clarkson. <laughs> <laughs> right, from the start, I'm gonna be harsh. Good. Your front teeth, proper apart. <laughs> Looks like one of them wandered off far. You've got a bigger gap in your mouth than an Ogmios bar. Wow. <laughs> I know that's an obvious part, but if we were to have a competition on incisors, incisors, <laughs> you'd win prizes. <laughs> Judging by the width and wideness and how big your bite is, I'd be a bit surprised if you didn't need windscreen wipers for your ginger biters. Mm. He's the richest white kid, so his life has never been hard. 
He's always been bought the things that we can't. He was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Oh wait. It's all coming together now. But your teeth aren't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Jay, but your teeth are a horrid shape and in a wonky place on your face. It's sort of like something Brian Cox would say, because your mouth a lot of space. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's that, it's that big black hole I'm dissing. Close your lips, it's so convincing. No, it isn't. Hold on, listen. So much space in his mouth, he's got his own molar system. <laughs> I bet you never get meat stuck. In fact, I bet you can eat stuff with your teeth shut. <laughs> like a pizza that hasn't even been cut. And look, if you were going to say you were going to be on TV, I'd say less of a wild guest. Jeremy Carl guest, you should definitely smile less. <laughs> See right? The left tooth hates the right tooth, like, get away from me! <laughs> the right tooth is in the right mood and can't wait to leave! They're now at a divorce court for separation fees for the fight for custody of the baby teeth. <laughs> now! <laughs> the left tooth said it's time to leave him. Such a gap, there's kind of even a line between them. And if you look close enough, you might just see them having a fight this evening with the right ones giving the left one the silent treatment. <laughs>